from the evidence we've already gathered, we are concluding that this is indiscriminate attacks against civilians, very excessive, and does not conform with the requisites of international law, which is disproportionality and with the focus on protection of civilians. And therefore, we thought this cannot uh, be equated with self-defense. It's it amounts to collective punishment. And we know the facts of those who are dying. Over half of those who die are women and children so far. I've heard the statistic, that, uh, you know, we, we're not sure of any of this. We, inter we will establish these statistics later. But without verification, I'm horrified at the figure of just two of the children who have been killed. How can children ever be deemed to be a, a threat so much so that Israel has to defend itself against these babies and children?